Which way does it go? Which one? There we go. I'm going to talk to you about my work with improv with veterans. He said, I really didn't want to come today. I was so depressed, but I'm so glad I did. That was what Jimmy said two weeks ago after our class. I've, I've taught Greek tragedy for 40 years at the University of Florida and became interested in the idea of tragedy and war through Brian Dory's project, Theater of War, which I brought to Gainesville and directed. I also have been doing improv playback theater at our local hospital for about 12 years. I'm a pacifist, I'm against war, and especially the current wars, but I felt that the veterans who were going to these wars and fighting were getting a bad deal when they came back. We all know there are more suicides from this war than any other. So I was very interested when our local VA started a new program which was going to bring in formerly homeless and addicted veterans and let, give them a chance to be rehabilitated, to be brought back into fulfilling members of society. So I signed up and I went out there and I was going to do playback, but they didn't want to tell me any stories. I thought I'd do some comedy and, the, and they said, huh, and the director said no. So I said, okay, we've got to do something useful here. And so I developed a program, and I'm going to just run these uh, pictures by, pictures by uh, to get to the final conclusions here. Uh, my colleague, uh, Charlie Mitchell, who teaches improv at University of Florida and the director of the Honors Domicile where the veterans live, Ali Karp, each week we come there and we do start off with a series of warm-up games, familiar to all of you. If our veterans are mobile and able to stand, we might do Zip Zap Zum or Hoka San or something of that sort. We'll move on then to Pass It On, for instance. We'll do a lot of What Are You Doing? A good mental game. So our opening of uh, games are to bring them to a sense of community, bring them to a sense of being relaxed, being in a sense of able to work as a team. Being homeless is very lonely, very isolated. They're working out of their addictions, but that's a different kind of step. So we're trying to get them to be working together, to build teamwork. After we have them with various warm-up games and so on, we do mirroring, for instance. We do lots of name games. We're having a party, adjective and name, and that sort of thing. We move on to what we consider the meat of the pro program, and that is applying these improv games to useful things. So sometimes we'll do job interviews because these people are going to apply for jobs and look at their records. They've been homeless, they've been addicted, they've been incarcerated. How are they going to best present themselves? We do a lot of uh, do-overs where they act out, Charlie and I act out uh, possibilities that have happened. We have to be careful. Sometimes others get edgy about the situation, but we act it out, and then they realize their alternatives to the way they had originally uh, done their deed and uh, carried out the situation. So we try, and we have um, games that are applying for pro how to deal with bullying situations, for instance, how to resist temptation, because it's right out there, and these are very people very close to the edge. And so we try them to do try different ways of doing things. And I wanted to, uh, at the end of each session then, we, we'll close it up. If we've had stories, we might do once there was. We try, uh, as I learned from you last year, front man, hype man. I was stunned when some young girl said, no one ever asked me a quality before. She had been so in her own world. But I wanted to especially put up here the takeaways. At the end of every session, the director asks for takeaways. And these are some of the things the veterans say they have learned. Charlie and I think we're doing improv. And this is what they come. Always good to laugh, yes. I like the spontaneity. I enjoyed working on listening skills. We did a lot of that. We did silent uh, communication, for instance. I'm not so different from others. It helped me prepare for an interview. It shows me how important it is to know how you're saying something. We do that one sentence three ways exercise. It was helpful to be able to be comfortable in a small group. We had someone who said she never spoke up because she was always told she was stupid. So now she had a chance to speak up because there were no wrong answers. And in the military, that's not always a possibility. 
I learned how a bully operates. I learned there are alternative uh, choices in every situation. They don't have to go to violence every time. Uh, improv uh, is much more to improv than I ever would have imagined. I'm using my mind, I'm using my imagination. We do lots of take on the story, for instance, with lots of things there. And at the end, they will always say they had fun. It's their best class, the one they've had the most fun is, because they had a sense of community, they worked together, they built a team, and they laughed together. That's what I've been doing for the past two years. Thank you.